I wish I had a, I wish we had enough tour buses to take each and every one with you guys out on the fucking road. Yeah. I still think one day I'm gonna make that happen. I'm gonna come. We're gonna come to this town. I'm gonna have like five tour buses out there. I'm gonna say. I would say security and everybody shut it down for a few days and let's go on the fucking road with seven dust. Yeah. Would that not be fucking awesome? Yeah. If we could like take Clifton Park on fucking tour for a few days, that would be great. And, and I want security to go in and start and fuck up people in other places. We're like, listen, we just came through. No, fuck you up. We're getting out of there. Just Clifton Park. That's how we do it. Yeah. I gotta tell you something, thank you guys for making us feel like family, man. This, uh, this next song, I, I, I talk about it now because I didn't really get to talk about it before because it was just such a, a traumatic song. You guys remember a song called Angel Sun? Yeah! You know, do you know who this song was about? Y'all remember the band Snot? Do you remember Lynn Strait, the singer? such an incredible person uh, and uh, I feel like when he passed away we were all so young it was like for us that I think that was the first time in our lives that we had lost someone that was I guess uh, someone like our age uh, you know like when we all hang out with our friends and that friend that passes away that was that guy that it happened to us and uh, they asked us to, to do this song for the album straight up it was a tribute for him and uh, I, uh you know, whatever. How amazing to be able to do something that I feel like to keep his legacy, to keep his legacy going on. But this is a true story. When we did that song, uh, and I say this, and I've told it on this tour, and I hope no one gets tired of it because this is this is the way it happened. I couldn't write, I, I couldn't, I couldn't write any lyrics for something that I've never experienced before. Does that make sense? Yes. So. Uh, I remember being on the bus and uh, getting to Phoenix and I knew that Mikey and Sonny and all those guys from the band were going to be there to record this piece of music that we had that wasn't finished yet. And so I believe as a 41 year old man today that Lynn had to have been there with us because Definitely. I don't know how the lyrics came but they just came. Yeah. I don't know, you listen and this is how it happened so thank you guys for understanding. Yeah. So let me share that. Like this is a